Hey guys, Mr. Turbo458 here. I'm going to do some more testing on this 50 caliber pre charged pneumatic air rifle. Got my cheapo camera set up on a tripod. Got my chronograph set up. It's all aligned, hopefully. And down there at 25 yards, arranged it with the Nikon, I think it's a Pro Staff rangefinder. I've got two 2 liter bottles, one red, one green, in the spirit of Christmas. And I've got a couple of boards. Uh, I'm going to try and sight this thing in. I'll switch to the other camera because I have more recording time on that. I'll take uh, five shots and I've got my chronograph hooked up to um, an electronic device so I can record it this time hopefully. So um, there you have it. Our projectile for today to start is a 50 caliber lead sa or Sabo with a lead round ball. And we're going to be testing it out here. So. I'll uh, get the other camera hooked up and we'll go from there. Alright guys, here we go. We're going to take a test shot here. This is a 3000 PSI fill. Let's see how she does. That was 1,024 feet per second with a 130 grain projectile. So. You can do the math on that one. I'll figure all the uh, foot pounds of energy out later. We're dead center, low at 6 o'clock on the target. So I'm going to bring it up just a smidge. Okay, quite a bit. Alright. Shot two. Nine forty-nine. Trigger's not returning. Shot three. Eight forty-three. Seven sixty one and for shot five. Six fifty seven. All right. So our maximum was ten twenty four. Standard deviation was 145.98. Uh, our average was 846.8. .8. Not bad. Let's see how much air we've got left in here. It's unloaded, but I'll break the bolt for you to be better. So we pretty much emptied this um, in those five shots. Not bad. It was pretty efficient though. Um, on the other ones I was getting a lot worse velocity. So There you have it. Uh, I'll take you up with the other camera to take a look at the target. Alright guys, here's the uh, five shot group. This one was a little low. I bumped it up, hit there. And then, interestingly enough, this was the highest feet per second. And then it slowly worked its way up. So I dropped it down a little bit. Either way, though, that's big enough, you know, good enough um, windage-wise to hit pretty much what I'm aiming at. Um, I think I can get it a lot tighter using some different bullets, but these are going to be the next targets. I'll bring the camera down here, and hopefully I don't ruin it with the food-colored water. <laughs> but um, So there you have it. I'll uh, reset up and do some of the fun target shooting. All right, we're going to shoot the red one there. Uh, these are going to be with the 363 grain hollow points that I made. And the mold that I made, you can check that out in my other video. Um, so I'll go down there. We're still at 25 yards. Hopefully I can hit it. I'm not sure how those bullets react yet, so I'll be back.
738 feet per second. Looks like it went in sideways, but the cavity's a lot bigger exiting. Um, let's go to the green one next. How about that? Well, that was a little less extravagant. However, it blew the top off. It still went through. I don't know if it's sticking into the board. Or... Oh, yeah. There's actually one stuck in this board, second board. So it went all the way through the first one. Well, all the way through the two liter, then the first board. And here you can see it sticking out. Let's see if I can dig it out of here. I can't stab myself. <laughs> there she is. No expansion, but that's alright. We'll get it figured out. I don't need to make the cavity a little bit bigger. Got a little, maybe tiny bit of expansion, but oh, well, there you have it. Maybe I'll take one more shot at this guy using a round ball. Just for kicks and grins. That's a little better. You can see with the round ball, it's pretty much just a neat, clean hole dropping through there. Um, that was the 130 grain lead round ball with the Sabo. Sorry, I'm winded. It's 25 yards away every time I walk down, so. <coughs> Getting my exercise at least. But, there you have it. I uh, hope that satisfies all you for your curiosity. Um, that's what it does to the back of the board. And then accuracy, so I had the bottles in the same spot, and I was aiming at the same spot, so you can see it's not bad. This was the round ball, in fact the round ball is still in there. And then I can see the 363 grain hollow point buried in here. It's actually splitting this piece of wood out here. And then the other one went through here, so not bad. I think it's probably capable of about, once the consistency is dialed in, I think I could probably get a couple inch group at maybe 50 yards, I'm not sure yet. Uh, it depends on how the bullets fly and that type of thing. So There you have it. Thanks for watching. Merry Christmas early. Hope to bring you more. Alright guys, so I did my testing. Not bad. The uh, This one is a 363 grain hollow point. Now it's traveling at like 768 feet per second. So that's going to be <coughs> pretty close to, uh, I think it's around 400 uh, foot-pounds of energy, but I'll have to double-check that with my calculator. Um, here's the Sabos, and finally, you can kind of see it here, there's actually rifling, except for on this side. Um, I'm having trouble expanding this cup back here. So I think I'm losing some velocity there, but with the uh, 363 grain, um, it's pretty much fully engaging rifling. So I think I'm getting pretty good, uh, a pretty good seal there. Probably need to size these down a little bit uh, from the looks of how the back is kind of fanning out. But here's the uh, lead round balls after hitting the wood. They're not round anymore, obviously. Nice and flat. Um, fastest one of these was traveling 1,024 feet per second. So I'm pretty impressed with that. Uh, that's some good power. Two liter bottle.
Where's the entry? So this kind of went in the side here, but you can actually see it bulged out the plastic here. So there's a lot of force there on this side. It's not bulged on the left there. So uh, it kind of went into the side and then just tore out the back. That's probably just mostly due to that there's water in this. Um, I didn't recover that bullet though, so I can't tell you if there's any expansion. And this was with a full 3000 PSI charge. Um, this one, however, was not. I think this was the second shot, so I'll have to look at the tape and see if I can figure that out. Pretty cool though, I'll bet the video down there is pretty awesome. Uh, it just completely blew the top of both of the two liters off. transfer port is probably sealed a lot better than it was uh, I ported the valve out a little bit and polished it I think that actually helped quite a bit so um, there you have it there's our targets down there at 25 yards ranged um, thanks for watching um, thanks for all the subscribers lately I appreciate that um, I hope to bring you more awesome videos and some cool stuff like this um, I really want to do some more fun target shooting uh, as you saw here though I need to get it a little bit more accurate and do some more side ends but just in between each you know a couple shots I have to go pump this thing up with a hand pump so I really need to get a nitrogen tank set up or a scuba tank or something like that so that I can uh, fill it up quicker or get a bigger reservoir which is kind of in the works already. I'm thinking about how I can make it better. So, thanks for watching. Have a good day.